Hello, one and all, and welcome. My name is Fear. This is Battle Vortex. And you just missed me. See, she just ran out of here. Let's get into the cyberpunk news reported by Jillian Jordan herself. I did some investigation. Some of the people uh, answered my chat, my last video, and we came to some conclusions. And I'm going to go over those conclusions with you. First things first, the ergonomic reinforced corporate pumps. I reported that those were missing. And they were, and somebody else reported they were missing, and they were. But it appears, it, apparently what happens is after you do the I Fought the Law quest line with River Ward and the Paralysis, after that, those shoes show up. And they're, and they're right behind the Red Queen's Race part of I Fought the Law with River where you have to get into you have to get into this club we did it we did it last week or the week before whenever it was but we did it not too long ago um the commenter didn't see him either i'm assuming that they're in the same boat i went back and that's what this photograph is showing you over here is that the boots are there and you can re-roll them to four mod slots okay i also reported that they're the, the the bustier, the bustier or the bustier from uh, this particular part of town near the skyline, uh, uh, fast travel is missing. And it was. There's a picture of the sidewalk there. That's what's there when I go there with my my current carry, uh, uh, character. You, if you go in as either a nomad or a corpo now, this particular part of the game is not there. And I'll show you why. The reason it's not is because of this character right here. This guy with the gold head here, the gold helmet, gold cyberware. He's actually only in the Street Kid uh, prologue, so you don't even see him if you're a corpo or a nomad. That's fine. You don't see him, but the problem is the guy behind him. The guy behind him is the guy that's got the bustier on him. If you don't play Street Kid, that guy's not there, so then you can't get the bustier. So where's the bustier? Well, we don't know. But I can tell you for sure this was a change somewhere around 1.2, 1.3. 1. Because this is a Nomad. This is my original Nomad. And she's wearing that exact heat-resistant air midweave fixer bustier. It's right there in 4K. Cotton 4K, man. She's right there. That was my first character I built in December of 2020. And then my my second, my third character, this is my corporal character. She's also wearing the heat resistant. She's actually wearing the whole fixer outfit. She's wearing the heat resistant aramid weave fixer bustier. That's that's what's going on. See, that's why I was I was confused as to why that bustier was missing. But now I know why it's missing. But the thing is, are they going to fix? Are they going to give us that bustier back some other way? Either put it on a vendor. They they just need to make it available somewhere else. There's plenty of there's plenty of bodies laying around in this game where you could stick that thing. You know what I mean? There's plenty of those. Just a whole heap of the bodies you can just slap that baby in there. If you're a corpo or if you're a nomad, you need to you need to be able to get the bustier some other way. Maybe that guy doesn't have a legendary item on him, and he has some other item. That's not legendary, which would be more fair. Just give it like a, a blue or a, or give it a rare or an epic and then just move the bustier into the store. That pretty much fixes it for everyone. Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk about uh, the upcoming uh, DLC uh, or patch or whatever it is. There's something going on. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Pavel Sasko does a Twitch stream on uh, Sundays. He's a good guy. He tells us some things. And, and, you know, and when he was doing his stream last Sunday, he uh, kept getting killed by the same landmine over and over. And he kept thinking it was a sniper. And we kept trying to tell him it was a landmine. And he was like, he wasn't buying into it. But I know it's a landmine because I've died to the exact same landmine. I, I was going to go find the landmine. But the thing is, is you, it only loads that landmine if you're doing the, uh, the quest line with Pan Am that takes you to that place where they were. And uh, then that landmine's there. It's a gas station, and you have to go in. Oh, it's where you it's where you meet up with uh, Anders Hellman. And we've already done that in our playthrough. So when you get to that part, those landmines are there. And there's actually a couple of them sprinkled around. The devs were really sneaky because you wouldn't notice them because they're not 
I mean, there's some places, man, they're, they just really lay on the landmines. This particular one, they just have a couple sprinkled here and there in spots you might walk in. Pavel walked there several times. He kept walking in the same spot, and I kept laughing every single time because he would go right back to the same spot every single time. He never tried changing directions. Never, you know, he just, poor guy. I feel, I feel for him. He's a deb, though, so he's evil. Just keep that in mind, kids. He's still evil. There's a lot of rumors floating around about these uh, DLC or a patch or something like that. And I think even, even CDPR has kind of backed that up a little bit as far as, yes, something is going to get released, but they're not saying exactly what, which is fine. I think that, uh, you know, uh, Pobble having his stream is really helpful uh, to the player base because he at least kind of sort of reassures them, like, you know, it's going to be okay, kids, even though we don't know that, that he's telling the truth. But... In any event, most of us are beyond the point of, uh, of hearing things. We want to see things. And uh, I just wanted to give a special shout-out to, to Pavel there because he is a good guy, and he, he does try to help the player base as much as he can. He's, an actual, he's actually a uh, – what does he do? He does, uh, he does like the main storyline quest. He's like the lead storyline quest guy or something like that. And I apologize, I didn't say it right, but uh, I, you, you get my meaning, you know what I mean? He He's a big deal. Yeah, when he's not stepping on those landmines, he's a really great guy. Dude, no matter what, whatever Pavel says, you got to take that stuff with a grain of salt because he doesn't know everything, and he's not allowed to say probably anything. So, you know, he, he's trying to dance around things without stepping his foot on a landmine in real life, you know what I'm saying? So we got to give pobble a little bit of a break i wrote down a little list for you guys the five five things that cdpr could release that would or not release that would make me lose my cool if they release a free dlc and not add anything new like more than even just cut content and they don't fix anything if they don't fix something in this game i'm gonna be really mad i mean i'm glad they fixed lizzie but they didn't fix they didn't fix any of the other guns that are messed up. They didn't fix. They didn't fix uh, Skippy. They didn't fix. You get from River the Sun ending, the one you get from Johnny's. Johnny's. I just don't know why I can never remember his name. There's like all these guns that need to be fixed, and there's all these other things that need to be fixed. Obviously, I know quality of life things. You know, like the interface would be great if the interface was like not horrible and stuff like that. Because we want more, we want a redemption arc for CD Projekt Red, not just, eh, you know, we did the bare minimum. We released some stuff that was already in there. We just turned it on. Here you go, guys. That would really burn the player base's butt, and they do not want that, trust me, especially if they don't fix this, where the Mega Building H10 Atrium is labeled incorrectly as H11. I'm going to lose it. Number four, if they release a patch or a hotfix and not fi fix anything significant in the game, or not fix the fast travel, I'm going to lose my stuff. So they need to fix something. I mean, some, anything. They have not, I mean, really something. they got to fix something that's significant that people will go, oh, man, that's so great that they fixed that. Okay, my number three thing that would make me lose my cool. So they're going to release something and then delay it till 2022 or not fix the terminal. Number two is not say anything, and the company implodes from all the controversy. So if they just stay quiet as much as they have been, I know they've been talking a little bit lately, but if they just end up staying quiet and all of a sudden the company implodes, I mean, they just released some kind of uh, Pokemon Go for Witcher, which I don't think went over very well. I'm just waiting for one of them to say, don't y'all have phones? That's what I'm waiting for. That would be classic, man. They would, Blizzard would tip their hat. Come on, CDPR, say, hold my beer. And ask them if they all, don't they all have phones? Ask them that. The number one thing that would make me lose my cool is if they just told us all to go pack sand and shut the game down. <laughs> In that case, they can't fix the terminal. And that would really chap my booty. I would, at that point, focus all of my efforts on, on rooting for a, a cyberpunk version of Grand Theft Auto 6. And that's where I would be. So that's the news for this week. I want to thank all you guys that participated last week, uh, you know, answering or, or asking questions, answering questions, telling me how the game works now. They did make a change at some point. I just wanted to make that boost EA available to all life paths. 
That's all I'm asking. I'm not even asking for nothing. I'm not asking for no AI. I ain't asking for none of that. No police thing. Please give me my bustier back because my current nomad needs it. All right? She ain't got no bustier. She doesn't want to wear a rocker bra. So now I got her in a turtleneck. I mean, come on, man.